We are live at the CompuBox Academy. The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. Time for our tale of the tape. And in this corner, it's the Roan Sniper the Boss Richards. This southpaw will box your ears off if you let him. 180 centimeters tall with 180 centimeter reach. And he'll be facing one of the best to ever do it, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. Talk about hot seats in the house. I am so lucky to be sat where I am watching this fight live. I can tell my grandkids about this. It's Lerone Sniper the Boss Richards. This tough and rugged light heavyweight is always looking for a good brawl. Saul Canelo Alvarez, a four division multi time world champion, quite simply one of the greatest of all time. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Surrey, England, a British and Commonwealth super middleweight champion, Larone Sniper the Ball. Richards hiding out of the blue corner from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. Todd, it's one of my favorite venues. You can't get a better place to fight in. Good luck. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. And this with that jab. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Nice offensive display landing that left counter. So much for boxing. This is a fight. There's a counter shot. As the great Phil Collins once saying, I can feel it in the air tonight. What a buzz. You have certain fighters that are born for this, that are made for the big crowd. And look in that corner right there, that is that fighter right there. They have elevated, lifted, it's like they're not touching the ground. This is what they were born for. Some nice exchanges from both men in this rank. He threw the hook, didn't land. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. He just misses. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. He needs a knockout without a doubt. He needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. There's 
rings the bell for round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Back and forth they go. Good punch. the way the connect percentages have to be off the charts. Back and forth they go. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. You'll find to the counter puncher, you've got a dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching you every move, that every trick. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. fighting a counter puncher you want to bait them in to throw first make them think you're going to throw a punch so that they exchange this round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go well he is in big trouble here he may have been saved by the bell the bell sometimes it can be the sweetest sound Bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. The perfect counter lands. Do you believe what we are seeing? Nice counter punch. Punch, counter punch. And he fails to score with that left hook. Both of these fighters have the conditioning to go the distance, no problem. They also have the power to end this. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. On the right. Nice punch. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. Missing with the left hook. Just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Insane act. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. And a counter left. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Here we go to the fourth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Right. 
So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Good left counter that lands. It looks like he's going for the finish here. His opponent with his guard up. And that may just do it. He is not moving. What a shot that put him down. back up on their feet but i'm not sure why the corner need to think nice and sharp they know their fight they know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take this is gonna be a tough decision to make great counter right hand there nice counter the bravery being shown here is just incredible Seeing. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Good counter left hand there. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be we just saw. You can make or break a fighter. to the fifth we go. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him. Throw him. Push him down. Punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know they're on shaky leg. They're a, a nuts here away from getting stopped. Why aren't they defending? Good counter-punching for both these fighters. He just got caught. He just got caught. He is down hard. I don't know if he's going to beat the count here. Running out of time. some point the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down some fighters when this happens this can be heartbreaking some fighters it makes them angry they want to get back into the mix again i want to know what sort of character are we looking at here nice counter shot can he do it what a massive upset this would be and he goes down. It's not looking good for him right now. Final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Exchange punches. This is a very important break here for this fighter. They've been knocked down twice. Corner might be thinking about stopping it here. They believe their fighter has it in the tank. Here we go in the sixth round. Is this the beginning of the end after two knockdowns last round? 
I have no idea what they have left. What? How? How do you come back from something like that? Not like twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this and now going for the finish? And he goes down. Not looking good for him right now. It's onward and upward after another knockout win here. A knockout victory? That is... God, did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot.